When the coronavirus crisis hit, I believed I had the responsibility because I was the only Western scholar who had studied and published about Xi Jinping and interviewed twice his founder. And I read a lot of nonsense about this Korean new religious movement and I believe uh, I have something to say about what is Shincheonji. Korea went through several dramatic crises, the Japanese occupation, the uh, World War II, the Korean War, and normally in these conditions, new religious movements flourish. After the war, the largest Korean Christian new religious movement was called the Olive Tree, led by one Elder Park. It grew to 1.5 million members, but it declined after Park started to claim he was God and higher than Jesus Christ. Many left, some joined a different new religious movement called the Tabernacle Tree. Now, these may seem uh, uh, historical details, interesting only for scholars, but in fact are crucial matters for Xin Xiongi. Li Manhi, the founder of Xin Xiongi, was a self-trained evangelist and military man who joined first the olive tree and then the tabernacle temple. When the Tabernacle Temple started to experience corruption, his leader went to jail, and eventually the movement merged with one branch of the Presbyterian Church, Lee called for reform. He was not heard, and he founded his own movement, uh, Xin Xiongi, which means New Heaven and New Earth. Why is this history important? because Lee claimed the prophecies of the book of Revelation, the last book in the Christian Bible, in part already happened and happened in South Korea with the rise and fall of the tabernacle temple, the old tabernacle, and the rise of a new tabernacle, Xi Jinping, led by the promised pastor prophesied in the book of Revelation, Lee Man He, who will guide 144,000 saints and a larger great white multitude to the millennium, a kingdom of peace that will last for thousand years. It is important to note that Chairman Lee, as followers called him, does not believe to be God or a new incarnation of Jesus Christ, Alto is a man with an important message and mission from God, he, his followers believe, will lead us into the millennium and will also live to see the millennium. Even if he is 89, followers still place their trust in the promises of God. Now, two comments. Number one, to many Europeans, this theology may seem very strange, but apart from the fact that the Book of Revelation is unfolding in Korea with Lee as the promised pastor, waiting for the millennium is very common. At least 40% of Americans believe in the millennium as a kingdom where there will be no death, no sickness, no conflict. It is also not true that Xin Xiongi teaches that only 144,000 members of Xin Xiongi will enter the millennium. They will, but there will also be a much larger great white multitude, another expression from the book of Revelation. Finally, I believe a word is in order about Xin Xiongi's ideas about sickness and death. Many have confused 
the very common idea about at least conservative Protestants that in the millennium there will be no death, no sickness, no need for medicine. And what Xin Xiongi teaches about right now, when we are not still in the millennium, now of course we can get sick, now of course we can die, and we need hospitals and medical doctors. I have had the experience myself of seeing meetings postponed with members of Xin Xiongi because they needed to keep an appointment with a doctor or a dentist. And uh, the humanitarian branch of Xin Xiongi, HWPL, sends money in developing countries to hospital and for medicine. So what is really distinctive about Xin Xiongi's theology of death and suffering is that it's not distinctive. He believes what many Christians believe, that God didn't want us to get sick and die, that death and sickness entered the world because of sin, according to the symbolic story of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, and which in a future glorious kingdom, our original condition will be restored and we will not get sick and die. But we are not yet in that glorious kingdom, so we get sick, we die, we need doctors, and Xin Xiongi doesn't believe that its members doesn't become sick, and it doesn't believe that its members do not need medical assistance. Another comment, the last one I will mention, is that Xin Xiongi is accused of worshipping, especially unhygienical condition, because its members, except the elderly and the sick, sit on the floor rather than on pews or benches or chairs. But that's common in many other religions. You don't see pews or chairs in a mosque or in a Buddhist temple, and yet only Xin Xiongi is single out. Others will speak about this. I believe uh, Xin Xiongi meets the eye, gets opponents because of its very rapid growth. It's a recent movement, yet it has already more than 200,000 members in Korea and is expanding elsewhere. Distinguishing a fact from fiction is always important when dealing with unpopular movements to avoid scapegoating breaches of religious liberty, breaches of human rights. Thank you.